Okay, uh, we are now <clears throat> trying to record a video for uh, the process of installation of IBM SPSS modeler uh, version 18.5 for the MBA 616 class. So I'm working here with my teaching assistant, uh, Weston, so he will be helping us to do the job. Okay, so we will start with by clicking this um, link, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we will register with my, uh, well, in my case, instructor email, not student email, but I'm pretty sure this would be similar. And then we will go through those steps. So let's start. So I guess I will need to select my institution. So this is my email, right? And this is my star ID. So let's start with this one. I'll copy this case. Let's see what it says. Uh, let's record it this way. Uh, so I'll say faculty. Okay. Uh, um. Am I supposed to be able to click those? Click on the blue links provided first. Yep. Where it says soft lo software downloads. Here, here? Yep. Oh, I need to read it first. That's what you're saying. Just press accept at the bottom, right? Blue. Okay. Accept. Okay, register. Bang. Please confirm your registration details are correct. Did ask my name, by the way, didn't I? So just oh, I my name is my email address, right? I think so. Now I log in with my look at this beauty. I log in with my. ID, uh, remember me, maybe. Okay, bing. I have entered my password and log in. So I logged in with my ASCII net, uh, with my star ID, basically. That is my password now, YBM. Is that right? Because I don't, well, I may have used it before last time. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's just proceed, right? Correct. Now we need to verify that it's me. So, and you see, I have both emails, South of Edson Cloud State and my star ID admin state. So I can get the code. Let me send the code. Since I use the second one, I will proceed with the second one. So now I have successfully signed in. And then brought it to the next page, right? Yep. Now go to data science. So we go to data science. So we're obviously under Mac here, right? If you want to make some notes to request your license now, you can do that, or you can just do it afterwards. Um. Uh... Can you elaborate on this? What do you mean? Yeah, you could create a note. Oh, like, wait a minute. Okay. Is yeah. it too late because I already clicked here? No, you can still request your license. What does the what does it give to me or students? Your access code. Without it, would I still be able to, to do what I need? Yeah, you can go back. It'll your access code won't change. Would you recommend reading it now? It can go either way, whatever you want to do. Okay, let's do it now. So, 
So now that anybody who's viewing the, the video can see it, does it mean they can use it or it's only mine? You'll use it before they do. Okay. Uh, good point. Now it doesn't. Oh, here we go. Copy. Okay. Do I want to paste it somewhere so I don't lose it? Correct. It, was it sent? Was it so, sent by email too? I'm not sure if it's sent to your email. Okay, I'm going to my uh, Outlook, and I will reply to this one. As if I'm replying it, I'm copying it, not to, not to forget it, not to lose it, just in case. All right, copy the code. Okay, so now I have a license. And so this license is attributed to me because I am Minnesota State uh, employee and I am entitled to get one, right? Or a student. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now we can go download for math. And, okay, pop-up window blocked. So it's supposed to have a pop-up window. I'm pretty sure I've seen some students have had the same problem. So we better fix this problem. So see the speaker icon in the bar up there? There's a tab Here, thing to this the one? next. Go to the right. One. This one? Yep, to the right of that. Click Here? on that. Yep. Yeah, these are the block windows, right. Okay, so um this is my software download. That's the last one I have to suppose, right? So I clicked it three times. So I have one, two, three. So I want to close the these ones. It downloads. Software downloads, my other ones. Okay, that's the page we need, right? Yep, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, you want me to take this one, these two? Both of them, yep. Do we need them at the same time or one after another? I ran both at the same time. Okay. So you want me to put this here? No, right. scroll down. It should be yep. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so I need oh I see, I see. We just need to select those ones. Yep, I believe it was the MOCP. Okay, what, ML okay, what, what, okay, 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 I see, I see what you're saying. So it was uh P two ML and P three ML. So IBM SPSS Modeler Client, Multilingual, and Premium Multilingual. Okay. So client and two this one and this one. Okay, so let's go and download now. So the blank page. That you're seeing right now is due to you not having the IBM download director, which is the method you choose above or you chose above. Okay, so I want to close it. Yep, close it. Let's just try the HTTP method first. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. I select again the two guys I want to download. What is the image? Yeah. It looks like it's only allowing you to do one at a time for the HTTP. So what would it take me to get the download director? If you search IBM download director or click on the I, it might link you to it. Is that what is that how you did it? That's how I did it, but that was on Windows 11. 
Okay. Um, do I need to download director only for downloading these two files or for more than that? Just the two files. Okay. Um, let's try the HTML method. You said one at a time, right? This doesn't really matter which one I download first, right? I'm not sure. You will have to. So let's start with the second one, or oh, does it matter? Or oh, 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 am I downloading and installing at the same time, or just downloading it as of now? Starting to download it. So then it better probably be starting with the first one, right? Yeah, I think we had that question. I've seen that question. The students were trying to install premium without having installed the, the basic one. The reason I was asking is just that would be faster download and we could see what goes next, but apparently no. Nah. Um let's would you would you try HTML method or you would rather uh download the um director? What do you think? Um I haven't seen it done this way, but it'd be nice to know if it works or not. So okay, like let's try. Agree. Yeah, let's try. Okay, so it will be downloading for a little while. Here it is. We can see the process of download. Doesn't look too bad. Do you think I can click now for the second one and start downloading the second one already? I would try it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will work. Yeah. Anyway, we're almost done here. We are done here. Good. So uh, let's open it in a find in a yeah let's open the folder basically. I'm pretty sure they will be together. But I suppose we want to start installing this one first, right? That's what I did. Okay, I think I just double click on it. That's it. On Mac, many things are very straightforward. Simpler than on IBM, excuse me, on Windows. Okay, continue. Read carefully. We read very carefully, as you see. Uh, English, not big any. Just continue, continue, right? Click on the firm installing. Agree. I agree. Four gigabytes. Yeah. Will it give me an estimate of time? Oh, here we go. Two minutes only. That's nice. But that's not all of it yet, right? There's some other components. I'm not sure. Yours looks a little bit different. Yeah, looks like we are stuck here a little bit, but still going on. Before you finish, make sure you click on destination select so we can see where it was installed. This one? Yeah. Can I click power later? Um, I probably bef after the summary gets opened, you should be able to. Oh, that's a long minute. Oh, wait a minute. I think we have to press something here. Yeah, wait a minute. I think we have to click this one. That's what's waiting for me to answer this page, I suppose. Licensing. Select one of the following. Authorized user license. If I purchased concurrent user license, I suppose we're here, right? So next here, right? Correct. Okay. 
So now is that license that we were talking about? Yep. And so I'm good that I have not forgotten to put it somewhere. Now I need to go back to my Outlook. So that's this number I was talking about, right? Correct. Do I need that space in the end? I don't think so. Does it matter? Yeah. Control C. Control V, the license, copy it on it. Add. Next, right? Yep. Next. Successfully processed all codes. Wonderful. Next. Do I want to copy status? Not really. No, just next. I just copied it. Why not? Oof. I am effective till September 25. So this gives you one year of the license. Great. Finish. And now I'm back to this installation thing. I hope it's moving now. Yes, it does a little bit. I'm wondering if there's another pop-up window that is... Here we go. Installation successful. You said destination select, just in case. Now I don't think I can back to that now. It's all right. Oh, here it is. It can be installed to your applications, SPSS modeler folder. So if you go to applications, that's this one in here. In, and then I can see all installed ones. Uh, maybe here it is, IBM. SPS Modeler, Community, and, and I think that Premium is not there. So let's go back and um, close. We want to move the IBM to, yes, I don't need the installer anymore. I will keep it for now. I will keep it for now. I can delete it later. So we just done this one. So now I'm going to do this one. The premium. All right, so now I think we may have our things installed. And you are right. I don't see any, any additional one after installing the second one. So I think we are ready to run it. Right here, the IBM SPSS model. Let's try. So it's launching right here. Ta da! And we are on the working bench here, so we can do what we need. Uh, and start working on the project.